What's up? Good morning. Uh, yeah. I've never done a uh, cop to crockers in here, so I figured, hey, let's do it here in the, in the room. So why not? Um, yes, my hair is crazy. I got that coffee with the crockers hair going on. Yes, I haven't shaved. I don't need to. <coughs> a lot of you are like, Jason, you need to cut your hair. You need to shave. This is my trademark for coffee to crockers. So I'm gonna keep it. Before I jump into today's motivational message or whatever stuff I'll talk about, <coughs> uh, I just wanted to touch on it real quick. And uh, if you guys are interested, please let me know. Uh, you guys know that I have four dogs. I have uh, Sawyer and Rufio, which are the older ones, and then. I have Bandit and Pup, which are the younger ones. Uh, Bandit and Pup kind of like to roam a little bit and, you know, do their thing. They're all very, very sweet dogs. But I am looking to rehome, find a very, very good fitting home for Bandit and Pup. Uh, mainly Bandit, um, but... I would absolutely love for Pup to go um, with her. It would be awesome if they go together. Uh, they are amazing dogs. I probably have some of the hair in my mouth right now. They're amazing dogs. I am just really only looking to have the two, um, the two older Rufio and Sawyer. That way, um, you know, they're not out roaming and stuff. Uh, Sawyer and Rufio stay right here. Uh, Band and Pup do like to roam the whole area and then go to the neighbor's house and stuff. Um, they're not getting in trouble. They're not doing anything of that nature. It's just more of I'm trying to downsize. You guys know that, you know, I had my goats. I get rid of my goats. Um, I have rabbits. I'm getting rid of some of the rabbits. <coughs> and I'm trying to downsize um, with my dogs. It, no, it's not that I don't love them. No, it's nothing of that nature at all. It's just if, you know, I know deep down I need to downsize and Bandit and Pup are younger so it'd be easier for them to get um, attached to a new family, uh, maybe even someone that has kids. Uh, they'd even be good for you know someone that's older because they are young enough to run around and protect but they absolutely love to cuddle uh, they love you know for you, to, you know pet them and stuff like that they are absolutely amazing dogs and it sucks to you know do this um, I I rescued dogs for a long time at one point I had like 10 dogs so don't think that I'm just, you know, being that guy that's like, I don't want them, get rid of them. That is not it. That's not the case. I will keep them uh, as long as I need to keep them for the rest of their lives, if that's what it comes down to. I'm just trying to find the best home for them. Uh, I, I Ideally, the biggest yard you can have um, and fenced in. That way they'll stay in one spot. And then if you like inside outside dogs they would be perfect they absolutely love to cuddle and be with you they're great dogs they are both fixed so you have nothing to worry about with that so um you know it's it's nothing bad it's just if i could find the right home and they can have an awesome awesome life uh, i would like to downsize and uh, do its best for my dogs so if you guys are interested, feel free to comment down below. If anyone has anything negative to say, I'll gladly block you. Um, that's not what this is at all. It's just I'm trying to do something really good for the dogs, and uh, that's that. So um, I don't need to, uh, you know, or I guess I don't. I guess what I'm saying is there's not a deadline. 
Um, I it, it's not like if hey if I don't find you know a home for these dogs I'm taking them to the shelter. Uh, I would never do that ever. It's more of on the lines of hey uh, if I can find a really really awesome home for them uh, that's better than what they have here, then I would love to um, you know let them meet a, a brand new family and bless them as much as they've blessed me it's just i'm trying to downsize on everything so that's that if you're interested and you're in the oklahoma area uh, specifically near tahlequah or tulsa or silent springs arkansas somewhere in that triangle please let me know um, i will not be driving far to deliver them anywhere uh, but um yeah if if you're in the area please let me know now more coffee So, uh, been working on stuff. Hopefully have a video out today. <coughs> if all goes according to plan. And the internet uh, is good enough to upload. But, uh, trying to get that done. Um, it's It's been a little rainy. Which normally I am not into. I hate the rain. But, since I've had my rain catchment, I am not going to... Uh, really be all that upset if it rains a little bit <coughs> man got something in the throat but uh <coughs> but yeah if uh if it rains for a little bit I'm totally cool with that get that rain catchment going uh, my next video I'll show you if it works or doesn't work um, all the concerns people had about filters and this and that or whatever um, it's addressed in there but uh, I did some more work yesterday and it it's still it's still getting to me I'm just like oh my gosh but it's getting there it's getting done and I'm definitely learning more and more and more in my life that when something's going wrong and you're getting frustrated hey just take a minute cool down come back and normally uh, I'm kind of the same way need you to matter a lot of life when it comes to this when we get frustrated it's over it's super hard to come back from uh, it's, it takes a good while to uh, recoup and not be upset about it but I think I'm getting a lot better at it and uh, I saw on Matt's video he was filming and he's like yeah Jared's Jared's mad right now or something I don't remember what he said but uh, I know it's from building and you know things not going the way it needs to uh, it's just one of those things that uh, I don't know with time and age and all that stuff I think we're all learning some patience but uh, you know if any of you guys are going through anything today and it's not going well step back take a moment to yourself you know whatever you need to do to unwind I go down the river and fish and swim uh, maybe you know, go outside play with your dogs uh, read a book watch a quick TV show anything to get your mind off it and then come back and man that really helps uh, there's no point in pushing 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 on something that isn't going well clear your mind to come back and that has helped me so much but uh, I'm not gonna keep this video very long today just wanted to uh, do a quick little video and uh, see if any guys would be interested um, in my dogs and uh, you know kind of let you guys know that I am still alive and kicking and getting hopefully again the video out today and uh, I'm gonna be uploading it from out here so I don't know how long it's gonna take but first coffee crockers from the little tiny house bedroom I slept pretty decent last night but uh, yeah I want to go I want to go see Danielle so we we'll work all day today go see her tomorrow or she might come out here I'm not really sure but uh, she'll be working again, so it's not like we can hang out for too, too long. But it's always awesome to see her, so I'm going to try to get this hair under control, drink some more coffee, get some work done. Hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day.